narrative referring to the case after mrs green came back to conscious she was repeatedly saying catch him catch him mr george asked mrs green to cool down so as to understand exactly what happened to her she could hardly control herself saying a youth harassed the girl hit her and ran away then she started again crying catch him catch him that mr george couldn't have any more information from her trying to have more details mr george asked elena if she could give him some information about the young guy elena told him that he was tall slim black haired white face with blue eyes wearing red t-shirt blue jeans and white sport shoes mr george called the police at once the ambulance attended the scene and took mrs green to the hospital while proceeding to the main gate mr george and elena were talking about what happened elena told him that she was standing alone while her mother was busy talking to the guests a youth approached her telling her that he was a son of one of her mother's colleagues she further stated that the youth offered offered her a company until the end of the event at about 11:15 hours they headed towards behind the hall as the young guy invited her to a drink she also said that while they were getting upstairs the young guy stopped her gently against the wall and started touching her sensitively after a while her mother surprised him and jumped over the guy biting him from his left forearm to bleeding the guy pushed her then she dropped down the stairs broken and wounded she also added that the young guy introduced himself as jack george 18 years old then mr george got shocked wishing that she wasn't telling the truth as the young guy she was talking about was his son on the main gate seeing mr george and elena the young guy collapsed crying dad please forgive me i didn't mean to do that at 12 30 hours the patrol team tango arrived at the scene both mr george elena and jack were taken to police station number five for further investigations dialogue police investigator good afternoon jack good afternoon sir police investigator may you introduce yourself jack my name is jack george 18 years old police investigator jack please tell me what happened this morning at community hall jack there was a social event and i attended as i knew that my dad george was a main speaker police investigator how did you meet the girl jack it was so crowded i noticed a young girl standing aside alone i approached her and i offered her a company until the end of the event police investigator and what else jack at about 11 15 hours we headed to behind the hall as i invited her for a drink police investigator jack as i noticed you are a nice guy tall slim white face blue eyes and black haired moreover you look sportive wearing gray t-shirt blue jeans and white sport shoes so you needn't to do that jack yes that's right i didn't mean to do to do that at all but when we were getting upstairs i was attracted sensitively to her so i stopped her against the wall and i tried to touch her police investigator what happened afterwards jack all of the sudden mrs green 
came and jumped over me. She bite me from my left forearm to bleeding. It was unbearable, so spontaneously I pushed her, she dropped down stairs, and I ran away. Police investigator. Who stopped you? Jack. The guard of the main gate. And he controlled me until police team Tango came at about 12.30 hours and we all led by the police to police station number 5. Police investigator. Thank you, Jack. Jack. Thank you, sir.